My name is Christopher Johnson. I'm from Stockholm, Sweden, and uh, I've done a lot of different things musically, but I'm mostly famous for Therion, which is a symphonic metal band from Sweden. I've always wanted to do film music, and uh, a lot of people thought that the music we did with Therion is very cinematic. Oliver showed up to uh, our concert in Paris, 2013, I think it must have been, and uh, said that he had a film project, and um, we spoke about it. Eventually, there was a script being sent over, and, and I thought it was an interesting concept of a movie. We discussed how we how we could realize the music for it um, with orchestration and so on, and. Uh, yeah, I just tripped into it, you know, just like that. <laughs> I think that the music is a very important part of a movie experience. If you have bad music for a movie, um, you really don't get the, the complete impression. So even though it's a small part that most people don't think so much about, they consume it passive, their intention, uh, their attention is completely on, the, on what happens on the screen. Uh, you have a very important job to enhance that feeling and it's a great challenge. It's not easy, it's actually very difficult. So um, I always liked the challenge, so now I said yes to it, so now I have to fix it somehow. Richard Wagner is like the grandfather of the, the cinematic movie music sound. Um, very big, very emotional. And uh, I think that, that Therion's sound has always been very cinematic. And uh, that's probably because of the big Richard Wagner influences that you, you have in our classical part of the movie. For me, it's important that if you read something in a script, that you get pictures in your head. If you don't get a picture in your head, then it's not good. That's a simple way for me of measuring it. And uh, I got a lot of pictures reading the script, um, uh, which is giving a great inspiration for, for how you can um, compose music that will fit to this picture. I'm a very um, natural composer. I could never sit down and force myself to do something. If I do it, it will be a terrible result. You, know, you could ask anybody on the street and they would do a better job than me. So things just need to pop out by itself. And uh, if you're gonna have music for a scene, just watch it again and again and again until the music comes. Or read the, the script a certain scene and just keep those pictures in your mind, think about it. And all of a sudden, there's a little demon landing on your shoulder and they sing the song into your ear. Metal music is, is very emotional. For a movie like this, which is full of uh, a lot of mystique and, and, and so on, uh, metal, especially symphonic metal, can, can suit a bit better. I think it, it's becoming more and more considered as regular music with its big epic sound, I think will have a probably natural place in, in a lot of film music in the future. <laughs> 